China and the U.S. are jointly improving their rescue and disaster relief capabilities. A six-day joint exercise is taking place at a military base in southwestern China's Yunnan province. More than 100 Chinese soldiers, 89 U.S. forces, are participating there. As one of his goals in reforming the armed forces, President Xi Jinping has said it's important to build cooperation with other militaries and international organizations. For additional insight on military relations between China and the United States, we turn to a senior research fellow of China's Institute of International Studies. Xie Zhuzhong joins us live from Beijing. Welcome back to the broadcast. Tell us, why does the Chinese military keep attending these international events? Uh, this kind of uh, joint military exercises uh, serve several purposes. First, uh, it has a very uh, practical significance. Uh, for example, uh, joint rescue and uh, disaster relief operations, um, joint military exercises, they can serve as an assistance to some countries which suffer from a disaster. But now that uh, uh, the world is facing not only traditional security challenges, but also non-traditional security challenges, especially humanitarian assistance and disaster relief. So uh, recently, China has uh, held uh, increased joint military exercises with other countries to improve capability of uh, uh, long-range disaster relief uh, um, missions. So this serves the purpose. Secondly, I think that uh, it will increase mutual understanding and trust between militaries. And this is also very important. How do you anticipate the China and U.S. military relations being impacted after Donald Trump takes the oath of office in the United States? The military -mil relationship is a very important, or even a key part, component, con uh, component of the general China-U.S. relationship. We know that over the past uh, two decades, at least, uh, the military relationship has been uh, you know, uh, witnessing a kind of on and off pattern. Uh, but over the past few years, uh, the two militaries have held uh, a frequent and regular exchanges. And so, uh, of course, uh, President-elect uh, Trump may have his real own views of China-U.S. relations and even male-to-male -male relationship. But a key question uh, he has to answer, or the leaders of the two countries have to answer, is that how they can manage the relationship between a rising power as China and established power as the United States. And uh, so in this regard, uh, the two countries uh, go to work together. And uh, so I, I hope that, uh, and I anticipate, actually, uh, the two military will keep their, uh, maintain their regular Institu uh, institutionalized context, exchanges, joint uh, military exercises, so that they can increase their mutual understanding and even trust. Xie Shudong, what does President Xi's reform actually mean to the Chinese army? Well, China is uh, reforming its uh, army, uh, both uh, the uh, structure and the leadership command control system, and, uh, you know, China is improving its uh, hardware uh, significantly, but it's very important for the military, uh, Chinese military, to improve its uh, uh, structure of uh, command and control, and especially the efficiency, so that it can adapt to the changing situation of security, and uh, also to adapt to the development of uh, technology, for example, with the development of uh, uh, information technology, uh, the military has to ca uh, you know, uh, keep up uh, with that kind of advanced technology of information so that uh, it can be more capable of uh, facing the challenges, not only in traditional security challenges, but also facing the non-traditional security challenges. Well, Jia Shudong, always great to see you. Thank you for joining us from Beijing.